have the confession of faith, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. May we all greet one another. May we hear the word and make the resolution. With that, the title for today is When the Path of Life is Blocked. Our society these days is very anxious. Unfortunately, there are many casualties due to a random knife attack that took place in Shilam Station in Seoul and Sion Station in Pundang. As similar attacks and crimes can attack and happen, it's a little scary to go on the subways or go where there are a lot of people. Nowadays, people become so nervous to go out to take the subways because similar crimes can continue to happen. Some immature teenagers who want to join this trend continue to post messages that they will cause a knife attack somewhere on the internet just for fun. Various unconfirmed rumors are circulating on the social media. And as they can happen, public authorities are mobilized and closely monitoring the situation because such events may happen. It's not just our country, Japan. It's quite serious. The don't ask attacks in America, China, all over the world. Why are these things happening one after another? The essence is a spiritual problem, but there can be various reasons for it. There can be dissatisfaction within the society. Also, mental illness can be the reason. When something does not go according to one's wishes, anger accumulates and leads to motiveless crimes. They attribute the cause of their dissatisfaction to an unspecified group of people who they also find it from a special target. The bigger problem is that when such crimes occur, people commit copycat crimes because people feel the urge to follow it and gain the confidence that they can do it themselves. Oh, I want to try it too. And such copycat crimes can happen. There was also a report that the culprit searched the internet for the Silimdong incident in Seoul before committing the crime in Pundang, Soyan Station. In fact, there are many cases in which things do not work out the way as we want in our life. You may have experienced a case where you set goals and plans with really high expectations, but suddenly a path is blocked completely different from what you have expected. Some people complain that nothing works out well. In fact, there are cases where anger explodes in the family around us in such situations, although it may not be as extreme like the knife attack. It may occur between the husband and wife, and this spark may influence the children. They may come to church and lay out their complaints. If you go to America, the immigrant churches, they say that, oh, I graduated from a prestigious university in Korea, but I'm here and working in this petty job. And they have so much anger and they come to church and they burst that anger. So the immigrant churches in America, there are so many problems within. As a result, Satan turns the family and the society into a scene of all sorts of divisions. That's why we have to deal it spiritually. 
When we look at today's passage, a person appears in a situation where things do not go according to his will and plan, and the path seems blocked. He was Apostle Paul. Paul bore a lot of fruit in the Asia Minor, present-day Turkey, though he, through his first mission's journey. I went to Turkey. And if you go to Asia Minor, you can see Paul's field. That is why Paul was hopeful as he set off his second mission trip to start another gospel movement in the other regions in Asia Minor and strengthen them afterwards. So he had this great plan. He teamed up with Silas and his disciple Timothy, and everything seemed to be going smoothly, having the team of three. So Paul had high expectations. Now, think of how exciting it must have been for Paul from his perspective. He was encouraged to go into Asia Minor. Asia Minor is in the borderline of Asia and Europe. It's that connection line. to go to that line and preach the gospel. But to a very his surprise, he was forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. In verse 6, the Holy Spirit. He would have never guessed something to happen. And sometimes, something like this happens to us too. I was trying to do this, but that path is blocked, and it happens the other way. You want to do well. So what are you going to do in such a situation for the church? I tried to have devotion, but the road, the path was blocked. So what should you do? I bless you in the name of the Lord that may all of you gain answers to situations where we try to do something, but and sometimes get things in our way through the scripture and experience the transformation and growth. Number one, the time schedule to hear the voice of God. Acts chapter 6, verses 67. Now, Apostle Paul was taking off for his second mission trip in Antioch. And because Barnabas and Mark went to Cyprus, where they started their first mission trip, Paul took the road and arrived at Derby and Lystra. It is where Paul reunited with Timothy and Silas and formed a team of three to go around many cities of Asia Minor to testify the gospel. If you look at verse 5, you can see that the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. However, something unexpected happens to them while they are preaching the gospel with great passion. The Holy Spirit did not allow them to continue to evangelize in Asia Minor. It's nothing else. It's to preach the gospel, but that was blocked. In a way, you cannot understand. Having been forbidden to speak of the word in Asia by the Holy Spirit. I think that there may have been some confusion at first. But they obeyed and moved on to the western most region of Asia Minor. Now Paul was going to the location far west of Asia Minor, but it says the Spirit of Jesus did not 
allow him to do so. That is why Paul went down to Taurus, which is the spirit, which that the spirit did not object. Taurus was a harbor city that connected Asia Minor to Macedonia and Rome, now called Troy, which you might know well from the Trojan horse. Through this word, before considering why the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, did not allow to proclaim the word of God in Asia, we must firmly grasp that missions is not fulfilled through human thoughts and plans, but through the guidance of the Holy Triune God. It's that message. What you do as you want is not missions, it's not ministry. In today's text as well, the Holy Spirit is mentioned in verse 6 and the Spirit of Jesus in verse 7 and God in verse 10. In short, it demonstrates that missions is the sovereign work by the Holy Triune God. Amen? So in your walk of faith, don't be stubborn. My thoughts, my plans, you have to let that down. You have to have nothing that is yours to be guided by the Holy Spirit. You must not have complicated thoughts so you cannot be guided. I can't have a lot of complaints. Why did God not make Asia, including Korea, the advanced nation? As if Paul had come to Asia Minor, it would have been good. So, from long time back, I had some complaints about this because there are so many idols in Asia. But why did God not allow Paul to evangelize to Asia Minor? How Europe lives, it's a different level. America, Japan, the advanced nations, there are no game. If you go to Europe, they're of a different class. The level is different because they had Christianity 2,000 years back. So in the humanistic thought, I can't understand it. But how confused do you think Paul must have been? Not being able to understand. Proverbs 69 also states that while a person may plan with his heart, it is the Lord God who directs his steps. Even if I make perfect plans, God is the one who fulfills that. So you have to believe in his absolute purpose, absolute sovereignty. It is not man's plan, but God's plan. It's not my time schedule that is prioritized, but God's time schedule. This emphasizes that God's plan takes precedence over humans' plans. Therefore, what is crucial is to grab hold of the fact that when our life's plan and path is blocked, it is the time schedule to hear the voice of God. It is the time to kneel in front of God. At least an hour. For an hour, it's a time to blab on your thoughts. According to my experience, it's like that. You have to get rid of all your humanism, and then you'll be able to listen to the voice of God. For those who were unable to pray for more than an hour, they were unable to hear the voice of God because they are filled with their thoughts. What does it mean? Simply put, it means to hear the word of God by the pulpit. It's 
it's worshiping with the plans that you have and making it right. If it is fitting to the plan of God, it is good. If not, you have to examine it. You must not lose hold of the fact that the message from the pulpit is God's time schedule for the answer given to us right now. The message proclaimed each Sunday is the word of God to be answered throughout the week. It's this week to be answered, and may you hold on to the word this week. The New Year's message is the word that we intensively receive answers throughout the year. When you are in this spiritual stream, you will experience the answers that God provides according to His time schedule. May all the nations be possessed. That word is being proclaimed and fulfilled in our church every year, so you have to receive individual answers. If you don't have that, it's like a house built upon sand. You don't know when it will crumble down. Your family, because you don't have the word if you can't hold on to the word. The word has to firmly be built. Although Apostle Paul went to wanted to hear the voice of God in Taurus, he must have earnestly prayed to God's desired plan for missions. The response to such a prayer appears in the vision, Acts 16, 9 to 10. It's a scene where Paul has a vision of Macedonia. And Macedonia refers to what is now Greece. Because next to Turkey, it's Greece. Athens, where the Olympics has started. Next time, after Egypt, where do we have to go? It is Asia Minor. After the pilgrimage in Jerusalem, we came and went to Asia Minor. In Turkey. Now it's a Muslim region. But if you go to that field, it's as it is in the Bible. Macedonia refers to what is now Greece. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Finally, the time schedule for opening the door of the gospel to Europe has come. It is God's plan and will. God's plan and will was centered on evangelization of Europe. This is the wave of the gospel, which started as such, continued westward, and eventually reached us. Therefore, it was said that from the perspective of missions, the gospel spreads westward. There is also a saying that the gospel movement that started from Jerusalem and moved westward will bring about the end of this world when it returns to Jerusalem. The important thing is that we cannot know the exact time schedule and timing, so we must hold on to the covenant of missions of Acts 1-8 and take on the covenantal challenge. Looking at the current situation, the gospel movement that was spreading westward has flourished in South Korea, but now it seems to be blocked in China, India, and the Middle East. India, which is part of the Hindu culture, is both spiritually an empty place with over 2,000 unreached people groups and a golden fishery of opportunities. Even now, Jung Moon Sik is a traveling missionary for the 237 nations, is opening doors in India. Just this week, we had 
reports like this. It's just one week. He's really not afraid. He just goes. It's guidance. When we open our spiritual eyes and see it, the wave of the gospel is never blocked. The timetable for the overflowing waves of the gospel over that blocked barrier is approaching. There are many places in India what that needs the gospel. There are so many places asking. That wave will overflow and evangelization in China, India, and the Middle East will be accomplished. The important thing is that we have a mission to take this wave of the gospel flow to the two, three, seven nations and 5,000 people groups. Even now, there are too many people calling us in the field of the two, three, seven nations saying, come and help us. Come and help us. In such a country where we don't even have any oil, 70% of Korea is mountains. But in this world, out of the 237 nations, what is the will of God that he put us top 10 of the economy? What is the reason that he's making us do the evangelism movement? It is country the country of Korea that we're going to do missions. It is our church. It is me. Amen? But being bounded by our problems, having conflicts, can it be so? Come and help us. It is not just to cry. It is not just a simple missions or a camp. It's not a choice of whether you can do it or not. It's not a time to be filling my greed. It's a howling cry. Come and help us. An earnest and desperate cry. It is asking us to quickly come and give the answer. There are no churches. People go to churches without the answer being bounded by legalism. This is the request to save them. I've told you on Friday. Pastor Orrin, they don't have anything else. They came to meet me. They are here. May you please stand up? The pastor and pastor's wife? They are Jewish. They went into Israel maybe 20, 30 years. And they have a big church. They have four regional churches, where in the main church there are about 200 people. And he has given us a horn and some gifts for missions. Because I've never received such a thing. And I s asked our elder Hauksun and had given the ginseng and the Korean traditional outfit, the hanbok, because they came all the way from Israel. They are doing their ministry well.
saying, Pastor, when you come in November, may you please come to our church? And I said, of course I will. There are so many fields that is not only in the missions field of the 237 nations, but also around us. There are so many people who secretly suffer deep inside their heart, living unhappy lives. There are so many people. That is why we're carrying out the Team of Three movement to save them. The three movements, the team of three. We have to be able to experience that, the power of the gospel, and go out. If we cannot experience that in the field, how can we do it in a different country? Knowing, oh, the gospel is this valuable. Oh, the gospel saves people this much. Oh, the gospel is this new. And the gospel heals this much. The start of 10,000 movement, the 4,000 bar testing movement, the 237 healing movement. So I bless you in the name of the Lord that may all you want believers are interested in this. If you're not interested in this, when the church is so interested, then will God listen to your prayers? This is not for an individual. It is for the kingdom of God. May you be able to have the same cycle with the Lord. Even if you turn to channel 8, KBS will not turn on. You have to turn on the correct channel. May you become the absolute disciples of Christ who testifies of the gospel of the uniqueness that only Jesus is the Christ and the solution to life's problem to those in pain and despair and bring true healing and restoration. Number two, experiencing God who opens a different path. Verses 11 through 12. When Paul heard the voice of God telling him to go to Macedonia and preach the gospel, he immediately moved. Even if he had great plans upon the first mission's journey, when God said, don't go, he immediately obeyed. He let down what is all of his. The walk of faith, what is important is the spiritual agility, like Paul's agility in the walk of faith. One of the decisive abilities that determines the victory or defeat of sports is the agility. Agility is the most important physical strength or skill. I have all believers of Yewon Church have the spiritual ability to immediately obey the word of the pulpit. Paul, who moved immediately, reached Philippi, the first city in the Macedonian region. And Philippi is the gateway to Europe, the starting point of European evangelism. And the first church in Europe was established there, verses 13 to 14. Surprisingly, God had already prepared a person for the evangelization of the region of Philippi. That was Lydia. Lydia was a seller of purple goods. And that city was famous for producing dyes. And Lydia was a businesswoman who handled purple fabrics, treated with expensive purple dyes. At the time, the noble class wore the purple clothes. So how prosperous would her business have been? 
So Lydia was a business person with considerable wealth and social reputation, especially judging from the expression that Lydia was a worshiper of God, we can see that she was a Gentile but had converted to Judaism. The interesting thing is that the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. Upon hearing the gospel from Paul, Lydia was filled with joy. God had already opened the doors of her heart, so she accepted Paul's message very well. I pray that upon this word, may the doors of your hearts open. So like so, God had already opened the doors of her heart, so she accepted Paul's message very well and was very excited to hear the gospel. So she was filled with joy. She was gulping the word up, verse 15. Through Lydia, the whole family heard the gospel and accepted Jesus Christ. That one person, through each of you who has the gospel, your family in the field of life will be changed. Afterwards, Lydia strongly requested Paul to come and stay at her house because she was probably prosper she had a big house so the three people went to her house when you receive grace this is what will happen then this house will be a mission home it was to do the word movement in her own house and eventually it became the foundation of the Philippian church Like so, we can see that God, who blocked Paul's way to Asia, opened up a new way. The people who receive grace, they will be able to see this. May you be able to pray, God, may you use my house as a mission home, as the regional church. If it is too small, then it's not the answer. If it is a big house, then it is an answer. It was the time schedule when God's historic time schedule for European evangelization was fulfilled. Historian Arnold Hornby experienced, expressed it, saying, the ship carrying Apostle Paul to Macedonia was the ship that changed the history of Europe and carried the future of European civilization history. That's what Torinby said. It had such an amazing impact. As you know, 2,000 years ago in Europe, you can see that all the flags, it has the cross like Switzerland. In some regions, they have two, three crosses. Even their national anthem in Europe, their hymnals, like so, they were receiving the great influence of the gospel. I hope that all believers of you in church will also accept expect amazing things when God blocks the way. God has prepared great and mysterious things that we have not even thought of. Isaiah 55 verse 9 The level of God's thought and our thoughts cannot even be compared. It cannot be compared. 
So I bless all believers of you in church in the name of the Lord that you will focus on the spiritual essence of listening to God's voice and enter the life, making the masterpiece of 24 hours and eternity. This is the conclusion. Look at Lydia's behavior in today's passage. She had a very entrepreneurial temperament. Everything she did was so clear and cool. If it was the Lord's work, she obeyed immediately. It can be said that the most important thing in business is the ability to determine and act, to make the winning move. The leadership of the late chairman, Chung j i a n g found their of Hyundai Group can be summarized into three things. The spirit of challenge, creative ideas, the terrifying ability to determine to act, turning a serious crisis into an opportunity for the crucial leap forward. He broke all negative perceptions, stereotypes, prejudice, asking, Hey, have you ever tried it? represents this very well. Hey, have you ever tried it? Don't say that it will not work after you try it. Blocking the waters. When people said that they could not do it, he said, bring 20 tons. To block the dam. And they blocked it. Oh, I prayed and I did devotion, but there was nothing. Is that so? Did you really do it? If you look at the book titled Winner's View, it is emphasized. that one of the success factors of leaders who are winning the business field is the ability to determine and act. The same goes for the walk of faith. I hope all believers of you in church become the masters of spiritual ability to decide and act, knowing that it is God's time schedule for answers and immediately take action when the word is spoken from the pulpit. It's not... when other people look at it, saying, oh, is that person doing it or not? Is that person hot or warm? Is that person hot or cold? It's not being in a lukewarm state. You have to change your DNA. So I bless you in the name of the Lord, though you'll be used as the important pillars of the journey for the evangelization of the 237 nations and 5,000 people groups. that God is opening. Let us pray. Dear Father God, upon all believers of Yohan Church, not leaving one person behind, may they be able to be the person of the Spirit. May they be able to have the boldness. Listening to the Word of God, may they be able to let everything down upon their will and plan. And may all failures be success. May it be the great time schedule. May it start today. In the Lord name Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.